Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Oh, it seems like it should already be Friday. I've been so busy. Seems like this week has completely flown by already and it's only Tuesday. But Tuesday, that means my babies come home today for the rest of the week and weekend. So it's my long week with them. It's my favorite. <laughs> of course, it's my favorite when it's my long week with my kiddos. But, okay, so I wanted to talk about a topic today that resonates with me pretty big time. Um, and it's self-doubt and insecurities. Um, I've always been an insecure person in a, in a way. Um, I have definitely dealt with a lot of self-doubt. I still, hey Jules, good morning. I still deal with a lot of self-doubt. Um, and I really try to help myself through that. And, and I do. My personal development does help me with it. Um, but a lot of times of second-guessing myself. Am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? Did I do the right thing? Like as a mom, you know, when I punish my kids or I have to have this big talk with them. <clears throat> and I know they might be upset, you know. Second-guessing myself a lot of, you know, was that the right thing to do? Are they going to be upset? Or am I, <coughs> excuse me, I should have grabbed a water. <coughs> am I not a good mom? Um, Self-doubt, you know, about when my first marriage was failing, I had a lot of self-doubt as a woman. As, you know, why could I not have kept him happy? Um or satisfied or whatever it was, self-doubt as a wife. And then again, the self-doubt as a mom because I feel like I failed my children. Um, self-doubt is such an easy place to get to. We are all our worst critics. We are all super hard on ourselves. So it's not hard to get to that self-doubt place. Um, but it's also not that hard to get out of it. And, you know, if you've ever gotten to the place where, where you're not sure or you have insecurities. Hey, Debra, good morning. Um, Julie and I actually talked about this yesterday when we had our coaching call. We were talking about insecurities and self-doubt and questioning and things of that nature. And it's like... It's really hard to not have insecurities. It's really hard to not... <laughs> That's funny. I just got your comment, Julie, and I just said, we just talked about this yesterday. Um, and you are getting better. You're getting a lot better. Um, so it's, it's almost like we're definitely our worst critic, no matter what we're doing. Even if we're on like a weight loss journey or a fitness journey, <coughs> people will tell us we look good and we're like, thank you. But in our minds, we're like, yep, but my stomach still needs work. My top of my legs still need work. My butt still needs work. Like we're already picking at all the parts that still need work. We're picking at our insecurities. We're giving into those insecurities. So it's not, can you guys hear my dogs? Playing with their toys. So it's not hard to get into those insecurities. I can tell you that. I go there a lot. And a lot of times the insecurities come from a place of comparing. Do you compare yourself to other people? I know I do sometimes. I try not to, but it just happens. But comparing, when you're comparing to other people, good morning, I see you hopping on. Make sure you say hi so I can see you. It's not telling me who's hopping on. It's just letting me know that people are on with me. So when you're in that comparing stage, hi, Deborah. good morning. When you're in that comparing stage with other people, you know, like you're comparing your relationship to what you see on somebody else's social media, or you're comparing how happy someone looks compared to how you feel inside. And you have to remember, a lot of times what we see on social media is, is the real of their life that they want you to see. Not everyone's like me to where they just post about everything because I share my whole life. <laughs> the good, the bad, the ugly. Doesn't matter. But not everyone does that. So we have to remember, even our friends that we talk to, a lot of times, it, 
it seems like their life is rainbows and butterflies. Like nothing bad happens, but it seems like everything bad happens to me. Have you ever had one of those feelings? You have to remember, we're not in their home with them. We don't see what goes on behind closed doors. So you really can't compare because right now you're comparing apples to oranges. You're not comparing apples to apples or oranges to oranges. You're comparing two different things because you don't really know what's going on in their life. And no one's life is exactly like yours in order for you to compare it in a good way. And then with comparison comes the insecurities, comes the questioning. Because you're wondering, why is their life so great? Why do they seem so happy? Why this? Why that? Right? I know you guys have been doing the comparison game. I've been there. I've been there. But there's no reason for that comparison game because that's just going to bring insecurities. That's going to bring self-doubt. That's going to bring sadness. That's going to bring that feeling of, eh, that we never understand why we feel that way. Trust me, I've been there. I still go there sometimes. And it takes me a little bit to get myself out of it when I do go there. But before, when I used to go there, it took me a really long time to get out of it. Like days, I would really dwell on it. And now it's at the point where I go there, I feel it, and I have to coach myself out of it. So I want to tell you guys how I help myself out of it which is my call to action to you. How I want you to try to help yourself out of it. Um, because getting into that self-doubt place, guys, uh, it's a scary place to go. Don't go there. Don't go there. It's okay to think about things. It's okay to, to walk yourself through things. It's okay, like, if you might have failed at something, it's okay to, to bring, bring that fail in for a moment, talk about it, learn from it, and then let it go. Don't keep it there. <laughs> So this is what I've been doing. I was having, hey Gail, I was just having some self-doubt, you know, a, a few days ago. It's still lingering a little, little bit on a couple things, but I'm working through it. And that's what needs to happen. You have to work yourself through it. So this is how I've been working through and it's been helping me. And that's why I wanted to talk about it. Because I would say for like the last week, I've had a lot of self-doubt feelings. And what's funny is, my business is the busiest it's been in a long time. This month has been a crazy month. And I know, you know, we have the launch. We have the, of the United Kingdom uh, with my fitness business. We have the holidays coming up. Trying to get people on track before the holidays so they can have guilt-free holidays. So we start our Fit to Feast on Monday. So I'm super excited. So we're going to get fit so we can feast for Thanksgiving. Um, for those of us in the U.S. that celebrate Thanksgiving in November. Um, so each 30 days we're going to come up with a new theme. But like I've had a little bit of self-doubt with some of that stuff. And, and you know just questioning a few things. And it's funny because it's not like my business is quiet or anything. So I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. So the way that I coach myself through it is I act towards myself how I would speak to one of my friends if they were telling me that they were having this like self-doubt or questioning themselves or anything like that. I would talk to them. And so what I've been doing is kind of talking sometimes out loud to myself as if I'm speaking to a friend, if that makes any sense. Like I think about my feelings and my thoughts and then I'll either say to myself out loud or just in my mind what I would say if it was like one of my really good friends telling me that they were having self-doubt. So like one of you guys. So I, I, I talk myself into a better mindset. I ask myself questions. I know it's crazy that I talk to myself, but it really, really has helped. Like I sit there and I'm like, you know, why are you even questioning yourself? Your business... <laughs> has done better this month and you know in tons of months so far this year you've helped more people this month with the holidays coming up you know things like that and and I really kind of just question myself and remind myself the positive of the negative that I'm looking at you know because what I always say is true if we focus on the negative that's the only thing we're going to see so 
I try to change my mindset into focusing on the positive in that aspect of my life. Like say it's about my relationship and I'm feeling questionable or insecure about my relationship and I'm thinking about it and thinking about it and dwelling on the negative. What I do is I try to pull the positives of that relationship, whether it's a friendship or it's my marriage or it's my relationship with my kids, whatever it may be, I, I try to make a list of the positive. Um, yes, I am a major list person because I'm visual. So if I can't make an actual list, I'm making like a list in my head um, of the positive things of that situation. So that's my call to action to you. If you're having self-doubt right now about anything in your life, if you're feeling insecure about anything in your life, what I want you to do is I want you to focus on the good in that situation. Only the good. Don't do a pros and cons list. Just a pros list of all the good in that situation. And I can guarantee you that when you're done with that list, your insecurities or your self-doubt aren't going to be there anymore because now you're focusing looking for the positive. So now your mind is going to that positive mindset instead of the negative mindset. So when we ever find ourselves in that self-doubt or that insecure place, we've got to change the mindset. It's the shift up here that's going to make a difference. So that is my call to action to you guys today. Pull the positive. Make a pros list about the good things in that specific topic. Um, today is Tanya Tip Tuesday on my personal page, so make sure you get over there so I could talk to you about how to get yourself unstuck. Hey, Rachel. Good morning. Um, but make sure that you make that pros list. Get yourself out of that self-doubt. Get yourself out of that insecure state because remember you are the best you that there is you are the only you you're unique you're special you're wonderful and there is no reason to have self-doubt so go have a terrific tuesday guys bye bye